Okie dokie, let's, let's just dig in, I'm so excited. <laughs> Box full of goodies. Oh. Right, so let's dig into it. So, first of all, oh, I got um, two of the Conceal and Correct. So I got the Banana and the Peach. Um, and then I've also got the new Conceal and Hydrate concealer very excited in the conceal and define i go for the c05 so i've gone for that again i presume they're the same shades or similar shades so i've just stuck with what i know there so hopefully that is still the right one i'm loving the packaging it's absolutely beautiful um i will show you properly when i take the wrapping off everything um but it's looking very chic and very lovely um and very on trend uh i also got three of the new powders as well these are the conceal and fix powders i believe these are absolutely incredible i believe they're really really ooh, nearly dropped them i believe they're really really finely milled i believe there's no talc no flashback um so i'm very excited to try these i got um a light pink and a yacht lello sure i got a light pink and a light yellow because my skin tone is both of those things it's great it's really really fun um so yeah i kind of have patches and i feel like if i was a dog or a cat i'd be one of those with like splodgy fur yeah that would be me um i also got though because the descriptions threw me a little bit on the website and i'll go through that again in a minute when i go through the individual products but i also got the medium pink um and i figured that if that was a little too dark to use as a setting powder then it might be quite nice just to add a bit of warmth and a bit of balance to my cheek area because i do have different undertones on different sides of my face it's great but the star of the show the one that everybody is talking about right now is the conceal and hydrate foundation so excited okay so i'm gonna prime my face and then we'll go through each of the products and we'll go through the revolution we revolution website um and we'll just see what they're saying about each product and um yeah just test it out and see what we're doing so i'm going as well spot the theme i'm going in with the revolution hydrate primer which i just love paying extra attention around the tip of my nose which does not like to hold on to foundation at all for some reason it feels really comfortable as well there's no tingling there's no redness there's no itching there's no sensation whatsoever it is totally fragrance free right so while that is kind of sinking in and kind of just introducing itself to my skin let's have a look go on the revolution website it's not my fault it's the first thing that's always searched on my google shush um oh no there's a 70 percent sale oh no right um right let's have a look at the um the conceal and correct first so color correcting okay so we've got the peach conceal and correct which says um, this is for dark circles on fair to light skin. Obviously, I fall into that category. Um, and I get kind of the really dark bit just on the inside of my eye there. The banana, it says for dull or e uneven skin tone. And that's light to medium. So, obviously, there wasn't one that I could find for evening out skin tone for the fair to light category. Yeah, I, I was considering getting the lavender, which says it's for dull skin tone for light to medium. But then I don't think it's dull. It's just uneven. Mainly, though, I'm most excited about the peach getting rid of this dark situation around my eyes so let's color correct first then we'll go in with the foundation <laughs> oh my god i hate opening these can we get some sort of tab on the perforated bit because if you've got nails on you've no chance oh Ooh, so we've still got the door for applicator there as well which leaks dark circles be gone oh my god i love this consistency not sure it's quite the same consistency as the concealer oh my god that has totally got rid of the blue you cannot see the blue <gasps> have we done something we might have just done something that has totally got rid of it i can't even see it poking through okay so i'm gonna then try the banana um down where i've got sort of discoloration and veining um and we'll just go from there i really hope this works really hope this works 
It's, um, oh my god, I look, I've got the weirdest moustache ever. So I do have, um, some redness going on, which is very usual for me, um, and I've already got a green corrector that I use, so let me just go and do that. Still a Revolution one, it's the green cushion corrector. I remember actually going to the Revolution Halloween party last year, and my skin was being really, really trying, and I remember sitting in the hotel getting ready and colour correcting, and then I just caught sight of Paul at the corner of my eyes, that behind me on the bed was just like... What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, happy with that then. Um, I don't know if next time I would just use the peach on the um on the vein and then maybe the banana on the discoloration and just evening that out. Um, but yeah, for now, happy. Let's see what happens. So next it's the big one. I think next we're going with the foundation. <laughs> Okay, so the star of the show, the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I'm loving this packaging. So let's just get on with it, okay. So yeah, let's just, I'm assuming it's gonna take a bit. Oh, ooh, quite a watery consistency, I would say. And I don't really know whether that's thinner than the Conceal and Define because obviously you take that out of a door foot. I need my mirror, where's my mirror? Hello. Let's just do it, shall we? Ooh. Oh my god, that coverage! I figured because I've got the colour corrector on, I would need to go in a couple of times and just, you know, really get the full coverage going, but that's just covered it. It does look a little pale on camera. Just look at the Michael Sheen on that. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, look at the sheen though. Look at it! <gasps> do you know what? I don't actually think I need to go over that. With a beauty blender, it's actually drying down really nicely. Feeling like doing a bit of a cry as well because I've never seen my eyes without the darkness there. Even when I put foundation on, I can always see it, but that corrector has absolutely covered it up. It's really full coverage. I don't think I'd call that a medium to full. That, that to me is a full coverage foundation, which is brilliant. Yeah, but it doesn't, it feels really lightweight as well. Like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel on the skin like a full coverage foundation but it bloody looks it <gasps> okay very excited right should we try these powders oh no we need to try the concealer first concealer first where's my concealer i was there um right then god it's another one of these things to open i could probably do a full like bloopers and outtake reel from this video we just open in these flipping plastic things are you joking? This one's got a double wrapper on it. <sighs> okay, so it's drying down um, nicely. I'm still not 100% convinced on the shade. I, don't know. I wouldn't say that's a pink undertone. I just wouldn't. It's really difficult though because we don't have them in store near us so I've got to kind of just gauge it off the description and off the website. So there we go. <gasps> go with me. It's like a slippy version of the Conceal and Define. It's like not as thick but it's still got the same coverage which is awesome. So um, I also use the Conceal and Define to contour with and I use shade 12 zero, uh, 12.05, 12.5 for that one. So I'm just going to pop that on. So this is in the original formula. This is in the Conceal and um, Define. We'll start to blend that out, shall we? See, the Conceal and Define in the original formula could be really tricky to work with because it dried down too quick, in my opinion, and it kind of clung to the skin, for me anyway, obviously being a dry skin girl. This is just literally just blending. It's not moving anywhere, it's just blended, which I love. Our pal, the, uh, the blue circles, haven't come back either. Oh my God. Okay, that's that then. Um, right, so powders. Very excited to use these powders and then get some bronzer on because my God. Right, so onto these powders and can I just say how beautiful these components are. They're just, at, the casing is absolutely beautiful. One thing I will say though that I'm noticing with packaging, like that was f marginally easier to get into, but still for somebody like Charlotte who's had a stroke and is a little bit, 
has problems gripping and just quite getting hold of things properly. Like, these are going to be really difficult to open, so can we please just think about... Like, I know things need to be sealed and hygienic and, and we need to know as consumers that they've not been messed with by 50 people, but, you know... I don't know. I just... I just wonder sometimes about people who, you know, have got kind of grip issues or disabilities and just, you know, how put off they might be by certain things. Um, so maybe just have a think about that, really. Um, right, very excited about these powders. Right, let's see what this says on the website and I'll let you know why I was confused about which pink to get. So, want makeup that won't budge? Mm -hmm. Conceal and Fix Loose Setting Powders are a collection of 10 universal true skin ultra finely milled powders which melt into the skin to set your makeup in place or to control excess oils. All shades are water resistant, completely flashback free and talc free to give any look some serious stain powder. Okay, so it says powders can be used with setting powder br buffer brush to lightly dust over the face to set makeup in place or use an angled sponge for extra staying power. I'm going to be using a brush um, just because that's how I do it. So, 10 shades. It's, we've got translucent, which says it's a universal powder suitable for baking and setting makeup for all skin tones. Light lavender, which says it's a brightening powder with a hint of purple for some subtle colour correcting. Okay, so then we've got the light pink, which it says offers subtle colour correcting, perfect for olive skin tones. Now I've got like a pale olive bits of skin tone. Um, my heritage is so mixed, it's ridiculous, and it literally comes out in different areas of, of how I look. Um, you right there, Leonard? Um, so yeah, I didn't quite get that. And then we've got light yellow it says perfect for light yellow tones which again in some areas i can be um we've got medium beige which says that's a neutral shade for neutral to beige skin tones medium pink which is this one which says a perfect shade for those with pink undertones to their skin which again i can have in certain areas um now it does look quite dark however i figured if we if the light pink and the light yellow are suitable for kind of setting in the general areas, then we could maybe use the medium pink around the cheeks to just kind of balance that out a little bit. Then we've got medium yellow, ideal for yellow or light olive skin tones. Uh, deep honey, perfect for golden to medium olive skin tones that have an undertone of yellow. Deep dark for deep skin tones with a slight red undertone and deep yellow for deep skin tones with a yellow undertone. Um, again, water resistant, talc free, flashback proof, vegan and cruelty free. So that's marvellous. Um, so let's just crack on and see what um, see what we got up to, shall we? Can't wait to bronze. I cannot wait to bronze. I feel very like Casper the Friendly Ghost right now. So let's do light pink first. Okay, so I'm very excited. These are so nice, so chic and lovely. Ah, I like the little R stamped into it. I like that one. Oh, and there's a little mirror. Oh, it's so cute. There's a little mirror in there so you can fully travel with this and use it as a little compact to touch up through the day as well. Brilliant. Oh my God, are we taking the mic now? There's a little film I need to get off here, but again, we've got no like little lip to get hold of. Oh, so now I feel like I'm gonna scratch it up. This isn't just Revolution, by the way. Like, every brand needs to, like, think about this. Also, again, you know, think about people with disabilities. Like, my daughter's partially sighted. There's no way she would see this to even be able to kind of pull it up and get hold of it. Like, make it a different colour. Give it a tab. Have a little bit of a pull here or something. Because I guarantee Charlotte would just be like, oh, it's not working, it's not coming out. Okay, this is a light pink. Oh my god that's just disappeared that's just actually just disappeared into my skin oh my god i can't believe how fine it is right are we kidding with this one this is like incredible so that's not leaving any kind of colour at all the only reason i can see that i've put powder there is because i can see that it's a different texture now that's absolutely gorgeous 
I love that so much. And it's not sunken into the texture on my face either. Like I have quite a lot of texture around my eyes, especially now. Um, and around my cheek there. And it hasn't sunk into that at all. Like not at all. And I've not got it down my top. Usually when I put powder on, it ends up looking really cloggy and really kind of chunky almost. I end up covered in it. So whatever I'm wearing just is covered in powder that I then have to deal with. Um, but this is not doing that at all. This is really nice and really comfortable as well. I really like this so far. Okay. Thank you. Marvellous. Okay, so let's try to light yellow and see what that does as well. There is no way somebody with disabilities affecting eyesight or grip or motor control would get into this easily. Not a chance. Um, I actually really like the colour of this one. Oh my god, it doesn't cover up like the contour or anything. It literally is just evening everything out. Right, this one's not coming out, bear with. It's sort of coming out enough to make a bit of a mess, but it's not coming out enough for me to use, so bear with. Look at that though, it just brushes away, blends away, and just leaves this really nice finish. Definitely got it all over my top though this time. Oh, but it brushes away. Right, so I did get that on my top a little bit more than the last one, but um, even that's just brushed away and not left any kind of residue or anything. We're gonna have particles going all over the place. Um, so yeah, I feel like the combination of colour correcting and a decent colour corrector that's worked and then a really good foundation that actually matches my skin type and then these powders as well I actually feel like I've got a really nice base to go on it still though doesn't look heavily powdered I mean look I've powdered and you can still see like that really nice sheen on my skin like that's incredible. I really like it. I really like it. It looks off. Right, I'm going to go in as well with medium pink and I'm just going to bring that down here and just to add a bit of warmth and just, just to see really. Not as a kind of, this is what you should do. I've just got it. I wanted to try it. So let's just see what it does. Um, so yeah, I've just thrown one on the floor. Please bear with. Guess who just threw a powder on the floor and the lid wasn't on? This is actually making me so happy right now. So happy. Oh my gosh. I've not even powder contoured or blushed or bronzed or anything. Oh my gosh, you see the powder there. <laughs> right, let me find a different brush because I want a little bit of a larger brush for this next bit. Okay, so that is quite a lot darker than the um, light pink, obviously. Let's give him a swirl and see what we think down the cheek area. Okay, so on me, that's actually really nice and warming. It's not giving like a blushed effect. It's not that. Um, but I think because the concealers and everything can make me look quite pale. That's nice. And it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be on me. It's actually diffused out really, really nicely. All right, let me go and do the rest of my face. And then we'll come back and we will discuss the pros and the cons and all our thoughts about this new revolution conceal and hydrate range back in a minute there we go there's the look all done um okay so let's go through all of these products and um see what we thought shall we okay so the first ones i used were the color correctors in peach and banana i think um consistency wise coverage wise they were absolutely bang on um the consistency is absolutely perfect it's not too runny it's not too thick it blends out really well the coverage though is ridiculous it's such a full coverage i cannot believe that i still can't see any darkness coming through on the corner of my eyes i've never ever seen my eyes without the dark blue bit there ever it is mental even if I look really close up now, I can't see it. I can't see it at all. There is no way you'd be able to tell that I've got dark circles anywhere, which is the point. So they have worked entirely. Um, I think um, personally, I will next time try using the peach over the vein situation as well. Um, 
just to try it really not because the banana didn't work because the banana has worked really really well um but i will just try that and see how i get on um what was next um the concealer from the conceal and hydrate range i don't know why but i feel like even though it's the same shade i feel like it's a lot paler or it's turned out a lot paler for whatever reason and I can't tell why. I don't know if it's because of the colour correction. It's maybe kind of altered that side of things. But yeah, it's uh, it seemed very, very pale today for some reason. Um, but I do use it as more of a highlighter than just a concealer. So, I mean, on that sense, it's worked really well because it's definitely brightened. It's the same coverage as the Conceal and Define. So if you are like me and your skin is more on the dry dehydrated side, but you've still been using the Conceal and Define concealers, um, it's the same coverage, but it doesn't feel quite as thick to me, which is really good. Um, it's not a complaint, it's just an observation. Um, so you get the same coverage, um, the shades are all the same um, and it, for me this blended out way better and way easier than the old formula. Do I mean old? I mean old formula, they're still using the formula, the original formula, the conceal and define formula. Um, this blended out so much easier. Um, so yeah, that's that. And again, everything looks beautiful. It all matches, it's all, you know, on brand with the colours and the packaging, so I leak for. The Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. <gasps> so happy with it. Um, it is so comfortable to wear. There's no kind of um, tightness at all. It is so comfortable. Um, I've still got, even though I've got powders on and I've got blush and bronze and everything else, I've still got a really nice sheen to the skin. Um, for me, I'm still trying to work out which shade is the best. I'm really struggling. I'm, I'm pretty much, I think, going to start having to mix shades because I'm really struggling. But the formulation is absolutely beautiful. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. Um, it went on really really easily it um definitely i would say is full coverage it says on the packaging that it's medium to full coverage and i would just i would just call that a full coverage obviously i've not had it on for hours and hours and hours but um it's been on a while whilst i've been doing my eye makeup and everything else um and it's just started to sink into um some texture around here like i don't think if you if i bumped into you in in the shop I don't think that's what you'd be looking at to be honest I think I'm just being quite critical because I'm testing it out at the minute so I think I'm getting up really close and I'm kind of really really nitpicking at what it's doing but yeah it's really comfortable it's really really I don't feel like I've got foundation on at all it's really good coverage the sheen on my skin I never get that it's so nice last but not least is the powders and these were simultaneously brilliant and annoying i love the consistency of the powders i love how fine they are the only problem i'm having a couple of issues i'm having to be honest is on every one of these where the hinges i don't know if you're able to see it i really don't know if this is going to come across on camera but on the hinge of every single one if you tip it powder comes out of the hinge and that's on all of them um it's not pouring out but if that's in your bag and you're traveling and you open your bag at the end of your journey and there's powder everywhere and it's all over everything that's going to be a bit annoying um i did find it, it quite messy um but again that's just powder for me really it's kind of gone everywhere and it's you know i kind of now can't really use the mirror because there's powder all over the mirror and um yeah there was that also i feel like literally getting into them was an absolute nightmare and i just feel like it's just it's got to be time that packaging was thought of not just in terms of is it recyclable not just in terms of does it look nice 
um, and does it keep the product hygienic but in terms of your customers being able to actually remove it properly without it being an absolute nightmare I mean it's you know it's a running joke isn't it that components like this so concealers color correctors lip glosses mascaras we've got the perforations down the side that you need to rip off and yeah they're great but how many of us have an absolute nightmare trying to get it off if we've got acrylic nails it's even more difficult and that's just something that is just an annoyance that can we just fix it please like can we get a tab on it that we can pull off um but also i feel like if you're somebody with a disability that's affecting how dexterous your hands are if um you know for whatever reason you struggle to kind of get that off if you've got you know partial sightedness or you're blind um and I say things like this, and I don't want anybody to come for me and be like, oh, what, you, what do you know? You can't speak for people like that. Well, I sort of can, um, because obviously I've got a disabled daughter who's partially sighted. She would not have been able to get that sticker off and been able to get into these on her own. There's no way she would have done that. One, she wouldn't have been able to see where the perforations were or where the sticker was on the um, powder component. And two, she then wouldn't have been able to kind of get into it to do it. So she would have needed to come and ask somebody for help, which is not allowing people to be very independent. So can we just please think about the packaging in terms of that as well next time? And just all it needs is a little tab that says peel here or has a little colour on it that you can just get hold of and pull it. You, you can still have the product packaged so it's obviously not been tampered with and it's kept sealed and hygienic but can we just please just do something with making it easier for people to get off that's me only bugbear really um so as a whole i am super impressed i really like the finish of all the products they've been very easy to use i am in no way an expert i am in no way the most skilled makeup artist ever um but i've found everything really easy to use and i've managed to get a good result that i really really like it is comfortable on my sensitive dry skin. It is giving my dry skin a lovely little glow. Um, and it hasn't broken the bank. So I really, really like that. Um, so yeah, I like that. Um, very much looking forward to using them again. Very much looking forward to trying to find a little bit of a better shade, I think, foundation-wise. But that's got nothing to do with the foundation. That's just me making possibly the wrong choice and we'll we'll just see where we go from there. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this little review and little first impressions video helpful. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know um, if you're gonna try it. Let me know if you have tried it. Let me know um, which was your favorite and what your thoughts are on the products and the brand um and make sure you leave me a comment make sure you give me a big thumbs up please i would really appreciate the support and um, make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already what's going on why it's free it's entertaining it's hopefully informative you know what do you want what more do you want um remember please that i love you this are you listening like bring your eyeballs remember i love you this much from here all the way around the world and back to here again have an amazing day whatever it is you're doing and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching